Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Tuesday, August the 20th, and it's 9 o'clock a.m. Thank you, Chris, for bringing your question. I'm going to read it. Here's his remark in the video I put up, when Lord, you know, it has the Sagittarius on the front. I think that is. Anyway, from Chris Chapman again. And Chris, I want you to know I made a video about how to be a witness. It would not go up again. I deleted it all. I said, okay, this has got to be you, Lord. Let me start all over, find all those scriptures I learned in the EE class, and blah, blah, blah. I was talking to the Lord. Guess what? I tidied up last night found my original list that I was going to use to make a video about how to witness. Thank you, Jesus. Do you see how the Lord works? He kept that video from going up this time. I knew it was him because greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. Anyway, now that'll go up today, Chris, how to be a witness. How, some, some scriptures you can use. Some, I mean, there's different ways for different folks. But anyway, that's another video. He writes, Jeannie, this is today, 12 hours ago, so this would have been early in the middle of the night here in America. Have you heard, right, 9 o'clock, 12 hours ago, oh, 9 p.m. last night, I guess. Have you heard of the website, www.testimonyofthetwowitnesses.com? I am having a hard time figuring out if they are genuinely of God or not. C could you please help me? Can you look at the site? They say that if you reject their prophet and the words of God and Jesus, God will reject you. This probably includes if you call them a false prophet. So I encountered them when I was looking up the two witnesses from Revelation to learn about Revelation more. And I saw their website. <clears throat> so I clicked on it. Excuse me. I clicked on it. And well, it is probably best for you to see for yourself. But when... I did choose to believe their prophet and message. Wait a minute. There's something don't make sense here. Okay, I clicked on it. He goes to their site. He said, and well, it is probably best for you to see for yourself. But when I did, but when I did, I chose to believe their prophet and message. But now, I believe it may not be of God, and said that it is of the enemy. Yet there lies the problem. They said that if you say, if their messages are not of God, you, in turn, blaspheme the Holy Spirit, which will not be forgiven and now I am scared that I have done so. I told him I will check it out right away. So I clicked on it. And now I am fixing to expose these people. And I hope you share this video far and wide. They got this poor young man. I'm so proud of you, Chris, about how far you've come. You have grown. I've seen it. I felt it in my spirit. You're searching out the answers and the truth. And now look at you. They're telling you you're calling, got you thinking you blasphemed the Holy Spirit. The test, let me start reading this. The testimony of the two witnesses. Is the true Roman Catholic faith the only sustainable faith on the planet under Petrus Romanus, the last and final true Pope of this era, sustained by the Most High True God. And it's got a dash 
and it says, Jesus Christ the Lord. Now, let me read that again. Let me put the dashes in, and you tell me if it doesn't sound like they're saying that Jesus said this, or do I have it wrong? But there's more. This is real tiny. Let me see if I can blow it up. Zoom in. Ah, that helped a little. Is the true Roman Catholic faith dash the only sustainable, that's in all caps, the only sustainable faith on the planet dash under Petrus Romanus the last and final true pope of this era, dash, sustained by the most high true God, dash, Jesus Christ the Lord. Okay. The question, it's a question. Is the true Roman Catholic faith the only sustainable faith on the planet? Under Petrus Romanus, the last and final true pope of this era, sustained by the most high true God, Jesus Christ the Lord. Okay, so I see what it's saying. I hope you do too. You can go here and read it yourself. It took me a while. Now, this is real big. Under all that. Quotes. I am, comma, Jesus dash and this is my testimony exclamation dash to the churches unquote now I gotta pull it forward so let me see where I'm at oh you see my big old face don't you all right I just have to put up with it okay <clears throat> sorry it's in light blue the testimony has now surpassed 1.5 million. Now that was written in print underneath that statement. I am Jesus. And this is my testimony to the churches. In, in little letters, in parentheses, it says Jesus, comma, August 5th, 2016. He said that. Okay, Jesus supposedly said that. The testimony has now surpassed 1.5 million words of divine revelation dash, making the testimony in all caps, quote, one of the most significant and extensive Literary Christian works, unquote, in all of human history, exclamation, quote, a more in-depth revelation into the mind, all caps, of the most high true God, so this is a revelation into the mind of the most high true God, making the Summa Theologica, written by St. Thomas Aquinas. Okay, a dead person, not dead, they're alive in Christ. I mean, they're souls with Jesus. If St. Thomas Aquinas, I, you know, I was Catholic. I know there's a statue of him. Was he born again? Is he in heaven? I don't know. But this thing called a Summa Theologica, that's Latin. This is clearly all Catholic. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a very sore throat this morning. But in a more simplistic way, okay, it's written by St. Thomas Aquinas. But in a more simplistic way, making the testimony accessible to all education levels. This document now includes more than 700 embedded videos that were produced by the two witnesses and the faithful remnant. Oh, I can't wait. 
The two witnesses are here, and this is their testimony. Quote, for those of you reading my website, my testimony, this is your great warning, but it is also my mercy upon your souls so that you can experience the consequences of your sinful lifestyles while you are still breathing. That's real loving, but that's okay. Let me keep going. It's his mercy upon our souls so that we can experience the consequences of our sinful lifestyle. What about repenting? Yeah, I got to tell you, we can repent and turn from our sin, but it is true. There are consequences of our bad mistakes. We, how many can say amen to that? Okay. But the only way for you to desire repentance is through fire put in italics. The only way, in quotes, for you to desire repentance is through fire. The whole thing's a lie. I mean, do I need to go on? We can no longer hold back God's judge justice. Then in big old letters, it's a video. God's justice is coming. But down here, ooh, this is going to be my snapshot. Oh, yes, we have the king of heaven with his crown on, and he's holding his fingers, and you know what this is. This is one of those Catholic statues that I have seen when I, since I was a little child. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The wild beasts will honor me. The jackals and ostriches, ostriches, yeah, for I give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to give drink to my chosen people, blah, 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 etc. And that, is, I'm sorry, sorry, Lord, I didn't mean that. That is a scripture. Scriptures are true. Isaiah 43, 18 through 21. I can't read any more of this. I'm going to clip a snapshot of this lovely statue of the King of Heaven, which is what it is. I remember seeing this when I was a little girl. Okay, I want to capture the words King of Heaven, which he is, okay? Not, not saying our Lord Jesus Christ is not King of Heaven. This is clearly not a site you need to visit. Don't worry, Chris. You use discernment. I'm proud of you, boy. I Well, you're not a boy, but to me you are. You're like my grandson. Seriously. You could be my grandson. Okay. Good catch. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over this video. And the internet connection and over each and every one of you and all of your devices and may the Lord Jesus Christ protect all of our devices so we can stay connected until we are finally out of here now you all just keep looking up keep looking up because our redemption draws nigh could be today could be tomorrow we don't know we can look we can hope we can speculate with the rest. We can. But remember, somebody pointed out that they didn't think any women would be grinding at the mill on Christmas. He didn't think they'd be grinding at the mill on any holiday. Think about that. I don't remember who said it, but it was a great comment. I will let you go with that, and I'll talk to you later. Be blessed to stay in Jesus' name.